All right, John, now that we're through a big chunk of the, at least the beginning part of free agency, just how do you feel that your plan has kind of come to fruition and what you guys wanted to accomplish when this started? You know, anytime after you, you know, had the hard loss at the end, and then you want to sit down and get everybody's opinion with regards to how we're going to develop this plan. And I think the important thing was all along I had said, we're not going to lose like really good football players. And, you know, there's only so much of the pie that is to be around us, so we tried to divvy it up what's best for the organization moving forward. And then you sprinkle in Rod Strader, then you sprinkle in the Mitchell Schwartz. So I have to say we did a, you know, a good job, you know, and I'm excited to see the two new guys come in and see how we do things, you know, the Chiefs way. And, you know, knowing those guys are going to jump on board, they're going to be 100% in, and I like the direction we're headed right now. When you look at Mitch Swartz, the guy who hasn't missed a snap in his entire career in the four years, just what does he bring to the offensive line in particular as far as maybe holding down that right tackle spot so it's the same guy and consistent? Well, I think he's consistent. I think that's first and foremost. I think he's very square in his pass sets. He, he's a big man, and he's a little bit better athlete than you realize. He's got balance and body controls. And it just so happened they played the AFC West last year. And there were two guys that you know we'll see twice a year. And he did a phenomenal job against both of these guys. Uh, I have nothing but the highest respect for him. And I think that's really going to help us moving along. And I think it'll be good you know, for Laurent duvernay Tardif to have somebody like that as well. Because he's been in the fire. I think he'll be really good for the entire room. Two guys that you did know a lot about because they've been here over the last three years. They've been here longer than that, but you've seen them here over the last three years are Tom Ali and Derek Johnson. Guys, 320 career games wearing the red and gold between them. What does it say about their legacies that they could potentially play their entire careers with one organization and the way in which free agency works now where players don't necessarily do that all the time? I have a lot of respect for both men. I think they symbolize everything that is good about this organization. I think in today's football, it's very rare that one player can say he got drafted and then in his career in one club. Hey. You know, that's, that's a great thing. But those guys are still playing at the high level. And so that was an easy decision to make, knowing that those guys will continue to contribute and they know the defensive scheme. So, I mean, that's important moving forward. Another great story, Jay Howard. How nice is it for you to see a guy come here, develop the way that he does, and be in the position that he's in today? Well, first off, it speaks about the quality of coaches that we have within this organization. We have said that the foundation is very important for not only the defensive side, but the offensive line. We're beginning to build and construct those two lines. And any time that you can take a player like Jay Howard and watch him steadily improve as the years go along, eventually he's going to get rewarded. And I think he did get rewarded. You know, I can't wait to see the improvement he has this year because it's really going to be fun to watch him. Kansas City has beaten the Houston Texans 30 to nothing in the wild card weekend. And for the first time in 22 years, the Chiefs are headed to the other side of the river and are advancing in the AFC playoffs. Three straight winning seasons, two playoff berths, first playoff win in 22 years. Do you notice a difference here going into year four than you did maybe your first year when you're talking with free agents and trying to bring guys here to Kansas City? Yeah, I think the, the first step that we got here, and it's under the direction of Clark, is, you know what, culturally, we're going to change this the whole environment. It's not just the locker room, but it's everybody within this organization. You know, everybody, it's it's good to come to work. It's really not work. You enjoy what you're doing. The brotherhood that those guys have in the locker room, I, again, I think that is very important because I've made the statements earlier that you want to measure an organization. Let's see what happens when that adverse moment comes. How will you respond? And everybody was all in on the adverse moment points of, of this season. And we all forged ahead, and I can't wait to see what happens here in the 16th season. 